So I was printing this part and uh, you can see the yellow part here. Uh, we got up to there and my print failed. Uh, my PEI bed is um, bulldog clipped onto my aluminium heated bed and it moves slightly. It means that the taller you get, there's a slight wobble and it knocked the part. Uh, the uh, the uh, extruder head uh, went off alignment, uh, steppers missed some steps and it started printing midair. So I cancelled uh, cancelled the print and I then thought what can I do? I've either got another two and a bit hours printing to start again and maybe the same thing's going to happen um, or I could try and fix it. So what I did is um, I tried to go back to um, a point and work out where in my print I'd stopped it. This is just an example down here, but this is where you need to look uh, and try and look at where the G-code was getting sent at, at the last point you did it. Um, and once you find that bit out, you can scroll up and you should see somewhere in there, uh, look this bit here, printing layer X of Y. Um, and once you've done that, um, I thought maybe we could use the G-code editor to, um, to to take this last part that needed printing, so you'd find the the layer um, that we the, the the last layer that we hadn't printed, and we could uh, select all of that down to the bottom. And once you'd selected all of that down to the bottom. then you can copy that and move it into Excel. And if you paste it in this column here, um, you could start doing some stuff to look for the layers. So this one here, this formula here looks for the layers um, because they're annotated in the G code. Uh, and then in this column, we can start looking to see whether we're on a layer change and this is where we were looking for the Z G code uh, up here. That's the Z height change. Now, if we just put this back in as it is, it would start printing 83 mil off the heated bed, which is not what we want. So what we need to do is, um, is extract that out. So using the left and right uh, parts here uh, to extract the numbers uh, out of this string here and then we can take off a height. Now, I uh, my layer height's uh, 0.4, and you could take off 0.4, but I wanted to leave um, it at 0.3 just for this first uh, layer so that we get a good smooshing of the filament onto the PEI bed. And then on this side, it basically checks that if we've got a value in here, we plug that back into the string. Otherwise, we just report what was over here. Don't forget you want to put your initializing G code in up at the top here. Um, and then there are a couple of other funnies. Uh, once you paste this back in, you'll see perhaps some midair um, layers and uh, you need to check a couple of bits. So this was another one. I needed to insert a one here so that this line would continue to work, but also put in here the fan turn on after after layer one it says it's layer two or eight it's layer one and there was another one as well and I'll just try and show you an example of what you need to maybe customize okay well yeah don't forget to put your NG code in as well and I'll just find the part where we had to do another bit of custom There we go. Okay, so this one here, uh, this was a uh, a layer height change here, and again, it was just doing uh, some fan speed stuff, which uh, messed things up. And it also did an extruder speed change, and that's because it was going to um, uh, it was controlling 
the layer time so it was just slowing everything down so I needed to just put a zero in there a one in there and everything goes back to normal otherwise that would have been printing in the air Z85.25 so then you'd um, copy all the text in this column and you'd go back to Repetio host so you'd start with a new tab here click on there paste it all in there and there you go so that's the rest of the print that needs printing and then go to your manual control uh, I would start on very slow feed rate for your first layer I had some problems getting this section to stick down but I got a satisfactory print that I'm happy to super glue onto the remainder of my original part uh, and it's only for prototyping and it saved me a lot of time and I've got this um, spreadsheet now um, happy to uh, to share bits of it with with you guys if you're interested just let me know in the comments